Hi everyone, it's Niall from windowsnoob.com and today we're going to take a look at distribution point content migration, which is a feature which first showed up in technical preview release version 22.07. I did blog about it briefly uh, on nilbrady.com and you can see uh, that I've covered the three scenarios that Microsoft uh, listed as reasons for using this ability. And these are the three reasons here. The first is a cloud distribution point CDB hosted on Azure Classic Services will be depreciated um, mid-2024. The second reason is the migration of cloud migration gateway version one hosted with the asterisk.cloudapp.net domain is also getting depreciated. And you might need to migrate that type of CMG uh, content to another distribution point or CMG. And thirdly, uh, you may need or want to migrate a local distribution point content to another distribution point or CMG, right? So if one of these um, scenarios uh, is what you are going through, then it's good to know what you need to do in order to get this to work. So that's hopefully what I'm going to cover today. Uh, in the blog post, I mentioned that you need to satisfy the prerequisites, and that is check your security role, verify that the user that you logged in as has the copy to distribution point permission enabled under distribution point permissions, right? So next thing we're going to do is migrate a distribution point using PowerShell. But before we do that, let's actually create uh, a distribution point. <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, add a new site server. And we're going to add the distribution point role to that site server. The reason I'm doing that is so that we will have a uh, clean um, distribution point ready for content. And let's just click our way through this, select distribution point, and install and configure IAS if needed. That's all we care about for this. I've already copied over the um, necessary certificate to the site server. Okay, we don't care about any of these other uh, things except for this. We're just going to put it the default and uh, that one there. Okay, so now we should have a um, distribution point uh, role added to the web server. Just check the content of this uh, distribution point. Sorry. What we should see is pretty much nothing there except for the configuration manager client package. Uh, it'll copy that one and then it will copy the client piloting package, I think it's called. Uh, and those are the, the two um, contents that are added to a distribution point when it's newly created. So if I go back, just check that again, maybe it has the second package. Not yet. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to see, well, how can we migrate content from our on-premise uh, DP, which is hosted on this site server, to our uh, other on-premise DP, which is brand new because we just created it. And we'll take a look at the logs to see what interesting information is in there. So how do we actually start the migration? Well, to do that, we click on this downward pointing arrow at the top left of the console and choose to connect via Windows PowerShell. And now that's done. You see it has the site code there. And if I then issue the following commandlet, start dash CM distribution point migration, and it's got some switches, source distribution point name, you point it to the source, which is the DP we're moving content from, or copying content from, 
and the destina destination distribution point name, and that's the web server, which we just added the DP role to just a minute ago. So I'll click press enter, and that actually should have started the migration, and it has. We can see here in SMS prov provider, the SMS provider log, um, right here, 12, 33, 25, that's just now. And here is um, the actual command. It's telling us that migrating contents to destination DP, and we've got some more details there. So it's adding all these packages for distribution. So um, if we look at the other uh, relative logs, which are the distribution manager dot log, and we can see in there that it's actually migrating stuff already to the web server. And if we look here, package transfer manager log, don't see anything happening there yet. Maybe we will, oh yes, there, there is something's happening. No capacity for send request, it's going to be, it's gonna send this package to that DP. So these are the three logs that you need to uh, monitor when trying to figure out what's going on uh, with the migration. <clears throat> Dist, dist, dist manager dot log, uh, package transfer manager dot log, and the SMS provider dot log. So if we go back to um, the console very briefly, and actually look at the content now, it looks like everything is there. Uh, can it really be that quick? Really? Uh, let's let's ask it. Um, if we do this. Okay, that didn't work. Get uh, CM distribution point migration status source cm local and destination uh, web server. Okay, and it tells us it's in progress. And if we want to get more details, if we do the, if we use the following commandlet, which is get cm distribution point migration content status. And in there, it tells us um, which packages have already succeeded and which ones are in progress. And interestingly, when I tested this for the first time, um, <clears throat> it gave me a status of four. For in progress so maybe they've already updated this code um, remotely pretty cool actually um, so let's look at our logs what do we see now every time you issue one of those um, uh, commandlets uh, related to distribution point migration it will be stamped or logged in here in the SMS provider log. And I do, do have noticed that when you run the get DP migration content status, it errors out. I don't know if it's a bug with my site or if it's a bug with um, this version of the commandlets, but I get that error. It doesn't seem to affect the, um, the actual job because it will get done. So if we go back here, and run this again, you can see that uh, it has migrated a bunch more content and it will finish it all fairly soon. Uh, and then we will be able to see that it has finished. And in fact, that is the whole purpose of this tool is to copy content from one DP to another using some simple commandlets, uh, which means that you can automate this uh, in the event that you you need to fire up a, a new DP uh, quickly, or you need to replace a DP for whatever reason, because maybe it's going to be depreciated. So I think this these uh, this ability will come to a current branch version of Config Manager soon enough, uh, probably sooner rather than later, um, seeing as these. Um, abilities are, are needed now more than ever 
uh, with people using um, cloud-based um, CMGs and CDPs, um, uh, as well as on-premise. So, all right, uh, let's give it another go. And as you can see, uh, we've only got a few left, and they're the, the big ones, probably uh, uh, OSD files, well, traditionally the biggest. But uh, once they're done, um, that's it. That's all you need to know. How to troubleshoot it, looking at these logs, how to start it, and even how to stop it. There is a command to stop the distribution. So let's say that you did this and um, it caused a problem. Um, for example, um, the network bandwidth couldn't handle it and people were reporting that, um, yeah, teams stop, stopped working or their meetings stopped working. So what I've done there is I've stopped the uh, distribution point migration uh, let's see what SMS provider says. It's a matter of interest. And uh, it says, let's see, do execute methods, stop DP migration, returning one. I think that means it worked. Um, that's what I've seen it return before. And if we were to now uh, check on the migration content status, we get nothing. Uh, it doesn't tell us anything, um, which is odd. I mean, I would have expected it to give us this information and maybe stopped, 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 stopped. Um, but okay. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so that's it. Uh, can we start it again? Let's see what happens if I try that. Okay, and then let's do the content migration status. And okay. Didn't like that. Maybe it's still thinking about it. Okay. Get content status. Let's try it again. Still nothing. Okay. Uh, as you can see, the feature is still in technical preview. So uh, is it perfect? Possibly not. Uh, are there some bugs? Possibly. Um, however, the Microsoft product group are listening uh, for feedback. So if you want to give them feedback, you can do it either via me uh, and I'll pass it on, or you can just tweet to them. Uh, there's a lot of them on Twitter and they definitely do appreciate the feedback uh, and they listen. So that's great. So that's what this video was about, just to give you a short look at CM distribution point migration, how it works and how you can troubleshoot it. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, see you in the next one. Thanks.